What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm up here at RPM Motorsports today. Um, we're shut down for the day. It's about seven o'clock at night. I was just doing some maintenance to the Buick and one of the things that I did was I put spark plugs in it. So I thought this would be a cool opportunity to show you guys different heat ranges of spark plugs and what those mean. So like I said, just doing a little bit of maintenance to the Buick, I did an oil change, I put a set of new plugs in it, and uh, this is an LS motor, so I run a TR6 NGK spark plug, and I'll explain what that means in a second, but uh, this is a boosted engine in this car, runs about 8 or 9 pounds of boost, depending on how my foot goes, uh, makes about 650 to the wheels, um, last time it was on the dyno, it was down a little bit on boost, so it made 630 to the wheels, but anyway, I've laid out some spark plugs here, so that we can kind of look at the difference, uh, these are all NGK spark plugs, and these are all tapered seat plugs. So you can see there's a taper on these plugs, and that's what seals to your head surface. A question that I have not been asked, but I think it's kind of uh, something that people misinterpret, is spark plug heat ranges and what heat range plug you should be running. So this is an LS shop here. I run mostly LS engines, so this is how it's going to be easy for me to explain to you. So we're going to talk about NGK plugs, tapered seat plugs. So what we have on the table here is heat ranges hot to cold. So this is a 55, 6, 8, and 10. And then here we have a different style of plug. It's a BR7 and a BR8. And I'll explain the difference between these two and these in just a second. Okay, so heat ranges explained. I'm going to put a little chart right here so that you guys can follow along. All right, so basically how this works is on an NGK style spark plug, the lower the number, the hotter the plug. The bigger the number, the colder the plug. So if you have a naturally aspirated stock engine, you run a five plug. If you're all out nitrous, you know, stupid crazy boost, you run a 10 plug. And what the difference is, is the amount of porcelain that's exposed inside of the spark plug, which you can see in this picture here. So what's the difference? Basically, a hotter spark plug heats up faster and it has less heat dissipating characteristics than a cold plug. Cold plugs run colder they have less porcelain exposed, but they transfer heat to the cylinder head better. So we'll go over to the table and look at the spark plugs and I'll explain that. So looking down the end of these spark plugs, you can see this is our 55. You can see how much porcelain is exposed in that spark plug. If we go to the 10, you can see how little porcelain is exposed. So basically what this means is this plug is going to do better for an engine that needs heat in the spark plugs. But the spark is also easier to blow out. When you go to a 10 spark plug, the spark isn't going to be as easy to blow out, and there's also less area for the plug to get hot. Why don't you want your spark plugs to get hot? Because then they melt. So these plugs will run colder and dissipate heat to the head better, which means they're going to last longer in a high boost, a lot of nitrous, high compression engine. Something else worth noting is if you look down at the top of these plugs, the porcelain is exposed on these plugs. You can see it's not in these. So these are a shielded plug, which means all of the porcelain is inside of your threaded part of the spark plug here. Now you might ask why you need that. Well, when you run a lot of nitrous, you have high turbulence inside your combustion chambers. This shields the spark from that turbulence and allows the spark to be created easier. But at the same time, you can see on this plug, a lot of exposed porcelain. This plug, not as much exposed porcelain. So that means this plug here is going to run colder than this. So I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a guessing game, but up here at RPM, we've been doing this long enough, we know what plugs are required for what situations. So we'll use my car for an example. This car is not high compression. It only runs eight to nine pounds of boost. So a stock plug for this would be heat range five. I run one full step colder, which is a six, which is we would run in most LS boosted applications or LS applications that have like a hundred shot of nitrous on them. Now, when you start getting up to higher compression, more nitrous, we go to an 8, a 9, or if we're running an all-out race motor, sometimes we go to a 10. So do a little bit of research on Google. Try to figure out what plug you should be running in your engine. Like I said, basing this on LS because this is what I know. But I hope this visual and that chart that I put up gives you guys a little bit of an idea of what the difference is between a hot plug, a cold plug, unshielded and shielded plugs so just a quick video for you guys today i'm gonna get this thing home before the sun goes down if you have any questions please comment below and don't forget you can always find high psi tv merchandise in the description below 
And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm almost at 3,000 followers on Instagram right now. I'd like to have that number up around 30,000. You guys help me out. Stay tuned. The weather around here is getting nice. As you can tell, we've got all the shop doors open up here. It's about 85 degrees still. So I'm going to button this thing up, get it home. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.